I have had so many people reach out to me and ask about how to implement an AI personal assistant in Slack. And I get it. There have definitely been times where I have spent a large portion of my day in Slack working with a team or in a community. So I totally get that it is really, really valuable to have AI tools to boost your productivity within the platform. It's funny because a few years ago, when ChatGPT was just starting to get popular, I was a part of this Slack community. And the owners of this community were wondering, could we use AI as a sort of FAQ personal assistant? that would be able to automatically generate really good answers to commonly asked questions that are put in the Slack channels. And it's funny because this kind of RAG implementation is now one of the most classic AI use cases. So it's crazy that even three years ago, people were wondering if this kind of thing was even possible. But even though it is a classic use case, Having chat platform assistance is still one of the most crucial AI use cases for any business. I've thought about implementing a Slack AI assistant in a video, and I might still do that in the future. But since it's such a classic use case, it doesn't really make sense to reinvent the wheel, especially when you have platforms out there that make it so easy to do this, like RunBear. RunBear makes it so incredibly easy and affordable to create your AI Slack assistant, or multiple assistants for that matter. And you can also use other platforms besides Slack, like Discord or Teams. Your Slack chatbot can have RAG functionality, the ability to search the web, it can invoke custom tools, summarize Slack conversations and channels, and the list goes on. You can also invite your assistant to only specific channels in your Slack workspace, and so that way you can limit which chats are exposed. So as long as your entire Slack workspace isn't filled with sensitive information, there is a place for you to use RunBear to boost your productivity in Slack. I honestly don't know a single person that wouldn't benefit from having an AI personal assistant in their favorite chat platform. So allow me to show you how easy it is to do it with RunBear. So to get started with RunBear, all you have to do is go to runbear.io, I'll have a link in the description, and then click on this get started button. You'll go ahead and create your account and then you'll be brought to a dashboard with a free tier where you can play around with RunBear for a few messages and see if it is right for you. And if you want to move forward with using RunBear long term, I also have a discount code in the description and a pinned comment, so feel free to use that. I don't do collaborations very often, but RunBear is a platform that is worth me bringing to you because it makes it so easy to build personal assistance in your favorite chat platform. And as I go through it, I think you'll see how valuable it really is. And so once you're signed in and brought to your dashboard, you can see that it is really, really nice and simple. Let me go to the overview here, first of all. And there are just two tabs that I want to focus on in this demonstration. We have the assistance and then the integrations. And so the integrations is where we're going to be setting up our connections for things like our knowledge base and Slack. And then assistance is obviously where we go ahead and create the bot that we invite into our Slack workspace. And so for integrations here, you can see there are a lot of different channels that you can connect, like I mentioned earlier. And then for your knowledge base, you can use Confluence, Google Drive, or Notion. I've used Google Drive a lot in my other videos, so I'm mixing up and using Confluence today. It is really easy to connect all of these platforms. For Slack, there's just a simple OAuth flow you have to go through. And then for Confluence, there's even documentation it gives you on how to create an API key, put it in here to get that connection set up. And then for the RAG demo today, I've got just a single document here, just AI generated research for a AI application tech stack. And so this is what I've got right here for RAG. And so we'll see that in a little bit when I ask questions and we get the bot in Slack. So now we can move on to creating our assistant in RunBear. So I'm here in the assistance tab now back in the dashboard and I'll click on add assistant. And the first really amazing feature that I wanna call out here is that sure, you can just use a base model if you want to. And that's what I'm gonna actually do in the demo to keep it simple. But if you want, you can use an existing AI. And this is just so cool. I've never seen this on a platform before besides RunBear. I have seen custom GPTs before, but even that is cool. But what I've never seen is you can actually create a custom AI agent with LangChain and LangServe, and then connect that in RunBear. And they have their own Python SDK, so you can develop custom AI in Python, and then hook that into your RunBear assistant as well. That is just so, so powerful. So for now, I'm just going to use an OpenAI assistant, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that in the future. Um, and then I'm actually going to go back to my assistant that I've already made, just so that I can walk through step-by-step -step everything that I did and not have to type it all out for you again. So I'm going to click edit on this assistant here, 
I've got a name that I've given it, Slack Assistant with Knowledge Base. And then the instructions, this is where you tell the agent how to act. You can tell the assistant the behavior it has, how to format its responses, all that good stuff. And so I just gave something very generic here as an example, just telling it that you're going to receive knowledge through RAG and use that to help you answer user questions. You can also select your model, basically anything that's available uh, with GPT. And then you can add your external knowledge source. So this is where I added Confluence. So I selected Confluence here, and then I just copied the URL of my Confluence document and put it in. Oops, let me go right here. I put it in right here, clicked Add, and then it ingested it as the PDF. And now I have that available as knowledge. And so I'm going to later, once we're in Slack, ask it a question that it could only answer if it has the information from this document right here. And so going back, now we get to all of the actions. And this is another really, really cool feature of RunBear. There's so many actions that are baked right into the platform, so you don't have to set up anything custom. So image interpretation, image generation, that is really cool. Um, at current date as well, because a lot of times LLMs don't actually know what day it is. So it's, that's kind of important for um, you know time-sensitive questions, like it says here. The ability to search the web, we're going to be testing that out as well. It can fetch information from a URL, so basically doing web scraping. It can search Slack conversations, so it can summarize conversations in specific channels. And then finally, this is another really cool feature, is you can add custom functions using the OpenAI specification for function calling here. So just like you would do function calling in your custom agents when you're just querying GPT in Python, you can set up that kind of JSON right here and have it really perform any action you could possibly want. So that is really, really cool, just how, how basic RunBear can be, but also how extendable it is to do whatever you need it to do as your personal assistant. And then there's also a lot of advanced options as well. I'll leave all this as default, but there's so many things you can play around with if you want to really fine tune your assistant for exactly how you want to respond. Um, and so with that, you can go ahead and click create. In my case, it's just update. And then we can go over to Slack and actually invite this in and play around with it. And so what I'm gonna do is go to the channels here and I'm going to connect it to a new channel. So this is what you'll do for the first time you set it up. I'll select my channel here of Kaya Fitness, and then for the Slack channel, I'm going to use YouTube Run Bear Assistance. So this is a brand new channel that I have created for this demonstration here. And so I'll go ahead and click Next. And then there's a lot of different ways that you can actually trigger your bot. So it's not necessarily going to respond to every message that you put in this channel, which is really good because sometimes you want it to just kind of be in a sidecar. They're ready to respond when maybe you would have a specific keyword or a certain emoji. There's a lot of options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it trigger just when you mention at RunBear, just like you would at a user in Slack. So I'll go ahead and click Create. And there we go. So now all I have to do is invite RunBear into this channel. So I'm going to go into my Slack now here in my YouTube RunBear Assistant Slack channel. And what I want to do is invite RunBear into this channel specifically. So I'll click on the members in the top right, go to integrations, click on add an app, and then select RunBear. And then it's all it takes. Boom. We now have RunBear in this channel, and we can go ahead and chat with the assistant that we just created. It is that easy. And so I'm going to start with a rag question, because that's going to be one of the most common use cases for a personal assistant in any chat platform. So I'll say at RunBear, and I'll say, what is the tech stack that I am researching? And what it's going to do is acknowledge my question, and then immediately tell me in the thread here that it is processing my request. And each thread is going to be a separate, separate chat memory, just like you would have a separate chat memory for each chat in chatgpt.com. So you can kind of compare a thread in Slack to a conversation in chatgpt. And there we go. We got a perfect answer from RunBear here based on exactly what I have in my Confluence document. So this is looking really, really good. And so I can even ask it a follow up here to test another tool for the assistant. I can say search the web to determine the pricing for each. And so now it's going to take a little bit longer because it's going to search the web for Grok, Pinecone, Superbase, Olama but it's going to get a response back to me actually going out to the internet just like I asked because it's not going to have this information by itself. And there we go. It's starting to format the response. This is looking really, really good. And boom. All right. Yeah. Super base with a pro plan of $25 per month. Uh, yeah, $70 cheaper per month compared to Pinecone because, yeah, the starter is $70 for Pinecone, the starter tier. So 
that is looking good. And then, yeah, pricing for Grok. All right. I don't know if this is like entirely accurate, but I definitely did go out to the internet. I think this is accurate. So this is looking really, really good. Um, yeah, I love it. And so it's also using conversation history, obviously, because it had to know what it told me in the previous message in the conversation about services to then look those up. Um, so yeah, awesome. Another tool that it has that I want to showcase is the ability to summarize Slack conversations. So I have this channel right here that I used in another video on my channel where I basically was just talking about uh, troubles with creating an AI pet startup, just something silly and random. So I added RunBear into this channel as well. So it has the ability to read this conversation. And now I can go back to my other channel that I'm using and I'll say at RunBear, summarize the conversation in the YouTube channel. And I'll say take in all comments just so that it's taking in everything for its summary. And so just like before, it's going to open up a new thread, brand new chat history here. And we'll see it's going to start pulling the messages from this channel here and giving me a summary. And this is a really important use case for personal assistance in a chat platform, because a lot of times you're going to have a bunch of different conversations going on when you take a step away. And then you come back and you don't want to read through 30 messages that all have a bunch of different threads on them too and so this is just really really convenient and can save a lot of time and there we go it gave us a summary talking about the startup technology needs it's a little bit long so i can say make it more concise but this is looking really really neat and so i'll get an even more concise summary it'll spit out in just a few seconds and now i save myself having to read a bunch of messages um, so yeah there we go it's almost there and boom all right more concise i like it this is working perfectly. So we've tested out all the cool tools and you can just see how easy it is to make a really powerful bot, a personal assistant in Slack that can save you a ton of time. So that is everything that I have for RunBear today. I hope you can see how valuable a platform like this is. Even me as someone who's technical and can maybe develop something like this, I don't want to reinvent the wheel when there's something as powerful as RunBear because in the end, even though it's a classic AI use case, there's still a lot of work that goes into making a personal assistant that robust with all those tools and the ability to connect to all those platforms. So I love it. I'm going to be using RunBear continuously in the future as well for my business. And I hope you will too. If you appreciated this content, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.